Hey guys, welcome to the video you are waiting for. Let me show you the new granular update of uh, VPS Avenger. Um, in my last video I already showed the new browser section and the new granular synthesis is right here. Um, you have, what is granular synthesis? You have to load a sample from your own library or wherever or from the new granular factory library. Uh, it can be any sample, a vocal loop, a drum loop, a one-shot uh, instrument or whatever, effect sounds. And then this sound is um, played back in, in grains, in small chops, um, up to 200 in a second. And you have various options to adjust the playback. So let's start by choosing Let's choose for the simplicity a vocal. Um, you can hear it very good. DJ in spin the record. For example, this one. DJ spin the record. So this now is played back with the granular engine. DJ. And what can you do now? You have the density here, as you can see in the readout. DJ. At the moment, we play back 100 grains in a second. DJ spin the record. Now we only have 10 grains. DJ spin the racket. DJ spin the racket. And we can put it up, uh, DJ up to spin the racket. 200 grains in a second. DJ but be aware that uh, the more grains you play, the more voices you have, and this can go a bit in the CPU. DJ As you can spin see, the racket. 10 DJ only takes 6, and 200 DJ takes 8% percent on my machine. DJ spin. So let's choose DJ 100, spin. and then you have the crane size, which uh, basically is... Wait, let me... Uh, Choose the default envelope. DJ, spin the racket. And uh, the grain size uh, DJ, DJ. specifies how long the grain is, uh, uh, which is played back. DJ, DJ, spin. DJ, spin. The green dots here DJ. floating around the waveform DJ. are actually the, cl uh, the cranes which are played back. DJ, spin the racket. DJ. Now the cranes are very short. DJ, you see it in the, DJ, the window spin which scrolls the by here. This is the crane window. DJ spin, DJ spin, DJ spin the racket, DJ spin the Then you have the grain, um, the the shape of the grain, the volume shape. We come to this later. DJ, DJ spin the. And now every grain can have a random pitch. DJ spin the racket, DJ spin the racket, DJ spin the racket, DJ spin the racket. Now it's very wild. Of course, you can pitch any time yeah, your sample. And the envelope here um, specifies how you scroll through your waveform. Of, for example, you can make a short freeze here. DJ spin the racket. DJ spin the. DJ spin the. DJ spin the. Um, for this purpose, I have uh, various presets for the uh, envelope, which I will show later. DJ so now uh, we have also the random position. DJ spin the this means DJ spin the grains start in a in a random starting point in your waveform. So this works well together with the random pitch. You can. Avoid this flanging effect, or, or um, if you want it, you can have it by um, making the random position to zero. So all grains start right at the same spot, but around five persons, it sounds more natural. DJ spin the 
Okay, now we have the spread pan, which means um, all grains are randomly um, assigned in the stereo field. DJ, spin the record. DJ, spin the record. Here it's now alternating. So the greens alternate right and left, and this on the other side you have the uh, possibility of random. DJ, spin the Center, alternating, random. The spare pitch um, mm, transposes one side down 12 uh, semitones and the other side up 12 semi uh, semitones. DJ, spin. Sounds. DJ, spin the Great for automating, for, for special effects or whatever. Now we have the random uh, the direction modifier. Uh, this uh, specifies in which direction the grain is played back. Now it's, it's set up to 100%, uh, which means um, every grain is played back in the normal direction from left to right. If we set it to the middle, then you have a 50% um, chance of creating backward grains and on zero you only have backward grains. Forward. Backward or a mix of both. And now we have uh, at last f the envelope speed. DJ spin so you can only freeze speed up. The playback speed of the envelope. You can also disable the envelope. And now you have the position dial here. You can manually move in the waveform. So we have, uh, let's turn back the envelope. DJ spin the red DJ spin. You can also flip it. Of course, if you turn off the envelope, um, you can assign your mod wheel or something like this, or the pitch band or whatever MIDI controller you like on your position dial. And what you now can do, you can use the mod wheel. Through the waveform. You can nearly scratch or something like this. You can also assign this to transpose at the same time. Oh, sorry, at the moment it's, it's still assigned to the filter cutoff. You want, do, do not want this at the moment. Oh, no transpose at all. So, I hope you can see what you could do with uh, modulation envelopes or something like this. You can do complete weird and crazy stuff. Um, what else can I show? Let us show some other sounds. Hey DJ! Of course, you can als always. Oi, oh, uh, DJ, let it go! I can play it live. <laughs> Baby's scary. 
Let me. Horror film movies or something like this.